firefighters from stations all over London came to the Department of Environment to lobby ministers. There is no way that here in London, in Essex or any other brigade, we are accepting as far fighters and control staff cuts in frontline services in the London Fire Brigade or any other fire brigade. They're furious about a £10 million budget cut, which will lead to job losses in the closure of Barbican and Shooters Hill stations. They say lives will be put at risk. It's getting harder and harder. We're supposed to do our job safely, and we can't do it anymore. We haven't got enough people to do it. We all need the fire service. I need the fire service just like anybody else does. And we, we just feel that uh, if you reduce fire cover any further than it's reduced at the moment, then it, it is going to be unsafe. The campaign has been backed by Labour MP Ken Livingston, who says strike action is imminent unless the government steps in. The vast majority of Labour MPs in London are horrified at the thought that the government spending limits might precipitate this strike. They know exactly what it will mean. It might go on for months, you'd have the army trying to break that strike. It would tear us apart. So we're begging Gordon Brown to just be more generous, not force us into this straitjacket of living with the Tory budget. The Fire Brigade Union also handed in a letter to Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott, urging him to put more money into the brigade. Today's demonstration really is the first part of an extremely determined and public campaign to bring to the government's attention that the cuts proposed in London will affect the safety of uh, the people of London. The cuts are due to be agreed next month, but unless the government backs down, unions say they'll be left with no option but to ballot members for strike action.